The Clearstream 4V antenna from Antennas Direct has a range of up to 70 miles, giving you the ability to receive a multitude of free, high-definition local broadcast networks with expanded programming. The Clearstream 4V can be installed in your attic or on your roof, and comes with everything you see here. Today we will focus on exterior installation. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, a power drill with a 3 16 drill bit, ratcheting drivers sized 8 and 10 millimeters, and some coaxial cable. First, attach each antenna base to the center of each reflector by clicking securely in place. Attach the crossbars to the back of the reflectors using the 1 and 5 8 threaded bolts. Position the loop elements so that the antenna's direct logo on each is in the same orientation. Then, add each loop element to the antenna bases using the 3 1⁄2 inch bolts. Attach the U-bolt to the backplate of the mounting hardware and then thread through the holes in the crossbars. Attach the rest of the clamp hardware to the U-bolt and finish loosely with the wing nuts. Next, loosely attach wing nuts to the screws on the back of the loop elements. Then, join the combiner bars with the screws and tighten in place with the wing nuts. Using the short coaxial cable provided, thread one end into the UHF in connector on the VHF dipole kit. Then, raise the dipoles into the up position. Attach the VHF dipole kit onto the first and second bar of the reflector. Now, connect the other end of the coaxial cable with the weather boot to the antenna. Now, it's time to assemble the J-mount mast. Attach the J-mount mast to the mount base using the hex bolts and nuts. Before installing the antenna outdoors, it is important to test the antenna in a location that offers the clearest possible view in the direction of the broadcast towers, avoiding placement around tall trees and buildings. Mark the mast base position on your desired surface. Then, drill a 1.5 inch deep hole with a 3 16 drill bit for each mounting bolt. Next, place ceiling pads over each drill hole. Push an indentation into each of the ceiling pads so that you can see where you drilled the holes. Then, place the base on top of the ceiling pads and use a ratchet or drill to tighten the bolts. Before installing your antenna, make sure the mast is adjusted so that it is vertical. Slide the antenna over the top of the mast and tighten loosely into place. Place the mount base end cap on the J-mount mast. Connect one end of your own coaxial cable into the UHF-VHF out connector on the dipole kit and the other end into your television. Then, on your television, make sure that your input is set to antenna or air and then scan for channels. If you are not receiving signals for the available channels, you may need to reposition your antenna and rescan. And that's it. You are now ready to receive free over-the-air television with unsurpassed quality compared to cable or satellite.